Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 22 Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole and since they elect. This is a brother Makaza from a Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be, What's Your 10%? Alright, what's your 10%? So we all know tithes go back to our tent. Alright, and you know, according to the law, you know, Israel is supposed to pay tithes, you know, every year from the increase of their land or from their herd, you know. Basically, as the Lord bless bless you, you know, you, you give back unto the Lord Yahaba Shemi Shai. So if you're a farmer, you know, at the end of the year, you know, when harvest comes around, you pay a 10%. If you're a herdsman, you know, and the Lord bless you, you give back your 10%. And if you're a man making wine, you know, and so forth. And that is how the Lord would, you know, that is how, you know, the Lord will have blessed us. So we sh by paying your tithes, you actually showing gratitude, for the, to the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahushai for blessing you. Because that is what the tithes was about. The tithes was you showing gratitude. Lord, I'm gracious for the increase that you gave me. So, you know, this is this is my this is my sacrifice to you, you know, as 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 you know, as a as a as a thank you for what you just gave to me. All right, that is what the tithe says. The tithe says gratitude. The tithe is basically a peace or friend between you and the Lord. Basically, they say, Lord, you know, I'm gracious. That is, that is, that is gratitude. All right. Now, in these modern times, we can pay tithes also by when it comes to the ministry. All right. Because we were once lost. We were once in the world, the children of destruction. But now Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, he, he shed his light upon us. He sent his son Yahweh Shai to die for us. To give us the understanding of this word. Give us his name. Give us his son's name. Give us the chance of the hope of salvation. And the least we could do is pay our tithes by doing our videos. Going out on the highways and byways, edifying, walking this road as, as 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 firm as you could. Not saying that monetarily you're not supposed to pay tithes. I'm not saying this. I'm saying when it comes to the ministry. All right, because I'm equating tithes to gratitude. So when it comes to gratitude, you have to show the Lord that you gracious for giving you this knowledge. And the Lord giving you the increase in this knowledge, how would you give him his 10%? You give him his 10% by going out. You give him his 10% by going out and doing this work. That is how you, you give the Lord his 10%. Alright? Let's, let's go to the scriptures again. This is um First Corinthians. Chapter 3 and verse 6. It says, I have planted, Apollos watered, but Yahweh gave the increase. It says, So need so then neither is it is is he that planted anything, neither he that water it, but Yahweh that giveth the increase. So Yahaba Shemel Sha is the one that gave the increase. Then the scripture said in Deuteronomy shall give the increase of your herb of your kind year by year. So now if the Lord gave you the increase of this knowledge, you are to give your 10%. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out season. Go out and do the works. Don't just read this and take this candle and put it under a bed. Put it upon a table where all could receive light. Go out and preach. Go out and preach this word. Don't receive this knowledge and like, alright, cool. And you just on the common board. And that's all you're doing. You ain't doing nothing else but you're just on the common board. All right, or when you go to the works, you just satisfied with just you know just holding posts, coming late, holding posts. 
all right you're finding excuses not to come and do the works you're finding excuses not to do your videos and then if somebody reproves you then you, or you believe that you might get punished or chastised for not doing the works then you try to you know you try to you, you do a little this you do a little that and then you go right back to being that that lazy nigga you're not giving the lord his 10 percent give the lord his 10 percent when it comes to this truth that 10 percent is your sacrifice towards his ministry towards teaching towards edifying enduring all things for the elect's sake that is the 10 percent as the scripture said present your body as a living sacrifice for that is your reasonable service. Your 10%, that is your reasonable service. Alright? The scriptures talk about women. You know, once she um, loves strangers, once she washes the feet of the saints. Alright? That is her reasonable service. So even the women in the faith, they have their reasonable service. And I'm speaking to the unmarried woman. The unmarried woman, you have your reasonable service when it comes to the ministry. Because you also have to show your gratitude for the Haba Hashem or Shai waking you up. But all in all, the men have to show their gratitude by going out there and preaching, going out there and reaping. The Lord gave you this penny, go out there and increase that penny. Go out there and, and, and bring in that tithe to the Lord, the Haba Hashem or Shai. You have to pay a tithe. You have to show the Lord that you're gracious for the increase of the wisdom, of the knowledge and understanding that He gave you. All right. Be gracious for that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that He increased in you. So then He increased that in you. So then you pay that ten percent by what? By edifying. All right. By edifying. This is um Second Timothy chapter two and verse two. It says, "And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses." The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Alright? So you have to be able to teach. So you learn in this word to teach. So that when you teach, they also will learn how to teach. So you pay in that 10%. Like Mr. Like that, like Daman. Daman always say, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Just pay it forward. Alright? When the Lord gives you the increase of this knowledge, you pay your 10% forward. By what? By going out there doing the video. Because the Lord gives you inspiration to do videos. So you go out there, you do the videos to edify. You go out there on the highways, edify. And not just go out on the highways, not just do the videos, but put your soul into edifying. When you're giving your tithes, you have to do it cheerfully. The scripture said the Lord loved none but a cheerful giver. Do it cheerfully. Don't, don't, don't give unto the Lord like it's a burden. Because it was not our burden. The scripture said the Lord, did, he gave it all things liberal. Alright? He gave it without restraint. So you do that. Don't do like, ah, well, I had to do this. Nah, you give unto the Lord. You go there, you teach. You edify. Wake up the elect. Give the Lord his 10% according to this ministry. It's better to give than to receive. Give unto him as much as he increase in you, you give. You give the Lord that 10%. Alright? Which is your reasonable service. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 28 and verse 20. It says, And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If Yahabah Shemiah Shai will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on because we pray day by day for all these things. You pray day by day for all these things. And a lot of us, when we were in the world, we prayed for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And now he gave it. And just like Jacob praying, we prayed. Alright? It says, So that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall Yahaba Shemir shall be my God. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be Yahweh's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tent unto thee. So what, jo what Jacob was doing here? Jacob was saying, Lord, if you do all these things to me, if you bring me back safely, and you increase me, and you bless me, Lord, 
just to show my gratitude, this is what I am going to do. I'm going to give you 10% to show that, A, I am gracious for the assistance, for the help that you gave me. I'm gracious for the, the, the safety, the health, the strength, and for the increase. Now, with Jacob, it was money. But with us is the increase in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So the Lord give us the increase in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So he said, Lord, I'm going to give back that 10% to you. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do the vids. I'm going to edify. That is the 10% to the Lord. Why do you think Abraham, when he came back from the slaughter of the kings, he did that? Because why? He was gracious that the Lord Yahabah, Hashem Shai delivered back Lot and his people back in safety. So he gave that 10%. Guess what? Even Tobit, when Tobit, Tobit told the angel to, to, to go with his son Tobias and he will give him wages. And, you know, if he brings back his son in safety, he gave him some extra. He, he gave him half of everything that he had. Upon his salary. Because why? Because he was gracious that his son was delivered back in safety. So we're supposed to be gracious that the Lord gave us his name. Because Proverbs 18:10, the name of Yahaba Hashem Shai is a strong tower. We're supposed to be gracious that Yahaba Hashem Shai gave us his name, gave us his son's name, gave us the understanding of this word, showed us that we at the end. We could have been lost. We could have been worshiping Jesus. We could have been worshiping Allah. We could have been going off. We could have been doing all sorts of wickedness. Waking up this morning with a bright smile on our face. You know, freshening up to go and commit adultery. Not knowing that as we knock on that door, the Lord, Yahabah Hashem, Yahshai, could have taken our spirits from us. But now you are sanctified. The Lord, Yahabah Hashem, Yahshai, cleanse us and give us the chance of the hope of salvation. Aren't we supposed to be gracious? And should we give back unto him? Isn't that our reasonable service to give back unto him? To learn this word, to go and teach? And not just to just abide in the truth? But to make the increase? Think about the Lord. Think about the Lord, right? The Lord... Giving you, let's say the Lord gave you some fruits, right? He gave you five fruits. You were hungry, you know. The Lord gave you five fruits, and those fruits have many seeds in it. Now, what you could do, you could eat those five fruits, and the seeds probably small, so most likely, like like kiwi, you know, like kiwi. You know, you, you eat those five fruits. So you swallow those seeds also. Right? And you satisfied. But what about when the Lord, you were you so down and out and you started thinking that, you know, if the Lord helped me, you know, what you would do, what you wouldn't do. And then the Lord gave you those five fruits. And then you remember, hey, you know, it have other people that down and out. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat three. And I'm going to take two. And I'm going to plant it. So the tree that I eat. Those tree going to give me energy. So that I could plant the other two. And take care of the other two. So when the other two grow into trees. The tree is going to bear fruits. That could feed others also. So you, you just paid your 10% forward. <laughs> You just paid your 10% forward. You show the Lord that you gracious for what he gave unto you. So you give back. Give back to the ministry. Give back your time, health and strength to this ministry. Go out there and preach. The knowledge that you learn, give back. Go out there and teach. Go out there and edify. Give back your 10%. Give back your 10%. Alright? This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 12. It says, So Yahabah Shemiah Shai alone did lean him, 
and there was no strange god with him he made he made him ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields and he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of a flinty rock butter of kine milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of bashan and goats with the fat of kidneys and of wheat and thou dost drink the pure blood of the grape so the lord gave them thy increase the lord showed them hey, i am your god and gave them thy increase but this is what they did but jeshuan which in the hebrew is yashuan which means he is first which is another you know um another name for israel right it says, but Jeshuan waxed fat. So they, they increased and kicked. So they said, nah, we don't need you. As in um, Jeremiah 2 says, we are lords. We will come no more unto thee. All right? By you not giving back to the Lord, that is what you say. We are lords. We will come no more unto thee. It says, but Jeshuan waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxen fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook Yahabah Hashem Yashah, which made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. So you lightly esteem in the rock of his salvation, where you're not going out and doing the works, doing your videos, not edifying. Alright, when you're not paying your 10% to the Lord. Which going out and doing the works, edifying, doing the videos, that is, giving, that is like giving 10%. I am not saying that as long as you're doing the works, you're not supposed to give 10% from your earnings that the Lord gave you strength to go out and do from your, your literal work. You pay 10% to the apostles. All right? I'm not saying just because you do the works not to do that. What I am saying is that this ministry, this work that you do is like 10, giving 10%. Because you presenting your body as a living sacrifice and seeing that tithes was like showing gratitude. Doing this work also is showing gratitude. Which really and truly, as Paul said, we are the Lord's servants. We are the Lord's prisoners. We are no choice. So since you have no choice, give your 10% with a, with a cheerful heart. Alright? Don't wax, don't wax fat and kick. Alright? Don't wax fat and kick. All right. This is the final precept here. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 12, and verse 6. It says, Then he took them both apart and said unto them, Bless Yahweh, praise him, and magnify him, and praise him for the things which he had done unto you in the sight of all that live. Praise him for that. For giving you this word, giving you... He took you out of church, took you out of the mosque, and, and took you out of that wicked life and gave you this, 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 this marvelous light. All right? It says, It is good to praise Yahweh and exalt his name, and honorable and, and honorably to shew forth the works of Yahweh. Therefore, be not slack to praise him. Don't be slack to praise Yahweh Hashem and Shai. Don't be slack to pay 10%. When you go out on the highways, don't just be there and be checking your time and like, all right, you know, it's time to go home. So, and when it's time to go home, you know, you're wrapping up quick, quick, quick. But when you was coming to do the works, you, you, you know, you come in there, you lagging, you know, you, you moving slow to read precepts. But as soon as you say, hey, shalawam, bracket our praises, tiaba, shimia, shai, you all, you all spirited, you all, yeah, hey, shalawam, akiyam, thing, and, and you know, you, 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 you walking away all merry. Nah, that is not what the Lord wants. The Lord wants you, that same spirit where you leaving into, to come with that spirit and to do his work in that spirit with that cheerful heart. All right? So when they give the Lord, give the Lord that 10% cheerfully when they're doing his work. All right, so I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Abba, Shemia, and Shai. I give double honor to the apostles of great mercy. I do real well. Salutation to the men of the hopeful and saints. Say, Lek, it is your brother Makazar from the Trinidad camp. Say, Shalom, and stay strong. Shalom.